this is a short video to show you how, as a writing teacher, you can use the Compare Document feature of Microsoft Word 2007. Say my student just submitted this essay, I read it over and I thought, you know, this has some really good points, but I'd like you to revise it. So I sent it back to them with my revisions. And then, a few days later, who knows when, I got the revised document. So I open it up and I say, okay, oh on the surface this looks just like the other one and deep in my heart even though this might seem a little untrustworthy I'm wondering to myself is this really been changed very much well Microsoft Word makes it really easy for me to find out exactly that I'm gonna click up here on the review tab and then over here on the review tab is a compare button let's go ahead and click it and I'll choose compare two versions of a document great what it wants to know now is very obvious. What was the original document? What was the revised one? It'll let me choose documents I've opened recently, or it'll let me browse to a document on my computer. Well, I happen to have both of them open right now, so that means that both will show up in this list. Any document I have open will be here. So I know that this one was the original, so I'll choose that. I know that this one is the revised one. I can the default here is to label changes with the name of whoever created the document, but that doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and click OK. It's going to do some really smart thinking here. And you notice here in this new compare results screen, it shows me a little bit of red popped up. And now all of a sudden I notice the student added, but because you're my professor and you asked me for me to expand, I'll tag on an extra sentence. My heart isn't in it though. Now as a professor, maybe I'm getting a little annoyed. I skim through, and you know what? I don't see any other red. That means that everything else in both documents is exactly the same. Let me explain what you're seeing here. Over here is the original document, and down here is the revised one. So for every part of the document, as I scroll down, all three windows scroll down. So I can easily see what was the original, what was the revision. So for this document, it's clear that the student didn't do much revision. So I would have to decide how to handle that based on my relationship with that student, based on the work he or she has done in the past, obviously. All right, hope this helped. Bye.